that I started this when I was 22. I had to pick a place where I'd be willing to go 50 years in a row. The goal is to watch these glaciers respond to climate change for 50 years. Here in the North Cascades, you know, the glaciers are beautiful, but they're also a precious resource to communities who use it for water resources, to irrigation, hydropower, going up those same rivers, our salmon. That's why I chose this place to study the glaciers. I started coming up to the glaciers with my dad 16 years ago. I fell in love with the glaciers of the North Cascades. 49.571. This is the Lower Curtis Glacier. It's still active, it's flowing. It's a living thing that is supplying really important meltwater to the whole region. But this glacier is retreating at a rate of about one to one and a half meters a year. And we already know what the future of this glacier looks like because we've seen it at another glacier we monitor for the project, the Iceworm Glacier. Everything you see here, whether it's snow or glacier, as it melts, it's coming right through this little channel. Ready and go. Point four. When the glacier stops moving, Warm air can get into pockets like this, and there's all it does is melt. There's no way for the ice to like move and fill this vacuum. We've been working on the Iceworm Glacier for over 40 years, and it was in 2023 when we arrived that we noticed something was very different. We're in the heart of the glacier, and the fact that we're here means it's no longer beating. It's not just different for one year, it's gone forever. It spurs you to tell the story, to keep documenting it, and crushes you at the same time. There's just not enough snow and too much heat now for these kind of small high, high elevation glaciers to persist. So it just feels like such a loss of something that, you know, has been around for, I don't know, hundreds of thousands or more years. It's just, it, it, didn't, it didn't have to be this way. But a lot of large glaciers around the world can still be preserved. We need a sustained response to climate change for coming generations of salmon, seals, orcas, and people.